In this video, you can see the positioner installation, common problems, root cause analysis and their solutions. The operating air pressure is 3 kg per square centimeter. In the junction box, you can see the all connections. The operating input current is 4 to 20 mA, 24 volts DC. Do not give more input power, it would damage the coil. Now you can see the all parts. Now let's see common problems. 1. Pilot hole jams due to impure air. When the pilot valve is jammed, the inlet air pressure goes directly to the control valve, and the valve opens fully 100% when you give air pressure. Solution. Step 1. Open the cap. Eject the auto manual device from the pilot valve. And clean this tiny hole to remove dust particles. We provide the tin wire you find in the positioner's lead. Step 2. Throughout this wire in an auto manual device's tiny hole and remove dust particles. Clean this o ring too. After the cleaning process, assemble all parts in a position. Now the valve ideally works. Positioner not working by giving air pressure and 4 to 20 mA input current signals. When the positioner is not used on a daily basis and not working give the 4 to 20 mA input current signals to operate the positioner. To fix the problem use the manual function 4 to 5 times for circuit reset or to avoid hanging the problem. Important instructions. Mandatory drain the FR within 8 weeks as impurities can block the small orifice and jam the pilot hole. Pilot valve jamming problem. When the positioner is not working perfectly given by air pressure, it means impurities can block small orifice and jamming the pilot hole. Now let's see how to do the pilot valve service. Open the four screw pilot valve and eject from the positioner. Gently remove the spring so that it does not bounce. First of all, remove these four screws. Now the pilot valve will be completely disassembled. If there is dust in the pilot hole, clean the pilot holes and remove dust particles. It will have to be cleaned from both sides. Make sure not a single dust particle should remain on the pilot hole. Take the second part of the pilot valve and clean it properly. Apply extra lubricated grease to the pilot valve's inner side. Does not apply too much grease on both sides. Grease has to be applied on all parts. You can see the dust particles stuck in an O-rings and mesh. To clean both O-rings have to be removed. Clean the pilot holes and remove dust particles. And not a single dust particle should remain on the pilot hole. Now the O-ring and mesh have to be cleaned as well. After the cleaning process, O-rings have to be placed in the same position. After complete service, assemble the pilot valve. Repeat the following steps and place all parts in a position. Now place the pilot valve in a position and make sure the spring does not bounce. Coil checking and replacement. When the pilot valve is fine after the service and the positioner does not work even after giving 4 to 20 mA current, check the input current to detect the problem. Let's see how to make a series connection to check the input mA current. This is a multimeter, electro-pneumatic positioner with feedback and current source that is an input current source connection. And that is a series connection multimeter to the current source. The current is coming properly, but it's not being operated. It means the coil is not working condition. Solution, coil will have to change. Now let's see how to replace positioner coil. If you have a feedback positioner, you must attach wires from the PCB using the soldering process. Still, you do without a feedback positioner, there are no need to do the soldering process. So now let's see how to change the coil from without feedback electro pneumatic positioner. Step 1. Remove the positive negative wire and then open the junction box. Step 2. Eject the pilot valve and open the span screw. Step 3. Open the three bolts. And the coil has to take out then positioner. We provide new coil. Contact us to get a new coil. 
comes fully assembled and you have to replace it in the place. Repeat the following steps and place all parts in a position. After installing this, the positioner will have to be recalibrated. After that your positioner will be work. In case you have a normally closed positioner, but you want a normally open positioner, it's possible to convert normally close to normally open positioner. Let's see how. Step 1. Eject the span. And place it in the opposite position. Step 2. Switch direct action to reverse action. Now your positioner is normally open. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide on how to calibrate the 4MATIC electro-pneumatic positioner, click the video on the end screen. For more in-depth information on 4MATIC products, visit our website at www.fematicvalves.com.